Welcome, lovely Sagittarius, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with Crystal Scrying and continuing on with the Tarot and Oracle as well. I do have some symbolic cards here for you, if Spirit allows today. So we'll see what Spirit has in store. Um, also, please know I do have an additional camera on its way. Um, it will give a split screen so you can see myself and also the cards. Uh, so hopefully that will be here soon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please give me clear understanding, clear communication and interpretation skills to bring forth the most important and loving information that Sagittarius needs to know for this general timeless reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Who is Sagittarius? Hmm. Sagittarius, you're coming through as a bird, perched. Both of your eyes are open. You have a very long beak. Now, you're surrounded by a crowd of people. Many of them have their backs turned towards you as if they are walking away from you. They have very... Mm, some of them have angry looks, but some of them are more of, I feel jealous, okay, a jealousy look. Now, two nights ago, I did have, while I was awake, I did have a, um, a clear audience type of information that came through from a male spirit, and he said, I'm jealous. So, um, I'm not sure. Because I did ask for information to see if it was uh, meant for myself or if it was for the readings. Because I also knew at that time I was going to be doing readings. So um, I got no information. So I'm not 100% sure if it was for me or for you. But since this is coming through, please take heed to that. Okay. Um, now, when a spirit speaks to me verbally. If it comes through in a masculine or a male voice, then usually it is a male, okay? So it could be a male, probably I'd say about 90% of the time. That's how it works for me when I receive information. So it could be a male. Um, at least there's a group here. So at least one of them can be a male, okay? Um, but there's something here, Sagittarius, Evidently, you're getting ready to bring forth to the world or getting ready to do. Um, that's going to cause some people to turn from you. Um, here's the thing, though, Sagittarius. You have to remember to stay in, you know, in your power, on your journey. Um, what is making your heart sing and go after those things, okay? And sometimes people do fall away. No, it's not comfortable always, but, you know, it's like, it's almost a feeling, Sagittarius, of like spirit is lifting you up while you're spiritually guided into something more, into your divine purpose, okay? And it may be things you never thought were possible. It could be things that were your dreams when you were a child. Um, let's see, I'll tell you this, let's see. So, like, for those of you that are new, let's see, my Sagittarius is in Mercury, Jupiter, Neptune, and third house Sagittarius. But my spirit guides speak to me a lot. They'll either say Michelle or they will call me Sagittarius for some reason. So, um, I do fit in with a lot of Sagittarius readings. So I can tell you from my personal experience, I am absolutely going through the same thing right now. And be strong, Sagittarius. Be strong, my friends, okay? Because um, this is something that um, Spirit is definitely guiding you to. 
that is going to bring you great happiness, great joy in many forms, okay? So let's go ahead and see what comes through with the symbolic cards. Spirit, Holy Divine, please give me the top two cards for Sagittarius. Please tell me when to stop. Top two cards for Sagittarius. Please tell me when to stop. Yeah, one more. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the next one? Body, mind, soul, spirit equals you. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So, what I feel, Sagittarius. <clears throat> It's like, Sagittarius, you are in the process, and some of you may have already stepped out of removing the glasses, okay? Removing what was shading you from what's actually your purpose, your truth, okay? So what this can involve is leaving situations behind that no longer serve you. Um, it can mean setting strong, firm boundaries with other people. It can mean some kind of spiritual sweep, mind, body, spirit. Okay. Um, it can mean clearing up space. Uh, in other words, going through your home, um, releasing things that have built up over the years, like clothes, Things that you just don't use anymore. Um, getting rid of those things. Making more energetic space to bring in the manifestations that you would like to create. Okay. All right. So, Spirit, show me which deck, please, for Sagittarius. Where would you like for me to begin here? Thank you. What would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? The Sagittarius need to know spirit. I feel it's good. I feel it's great. I do. Okay, what do we have? Oh, hold on. Okay. We have oh yeah, okay. We have the two of wands. Okay. So I definitely feel like <laughs> Sagittarius, many of you. Have already chosen your step forward, your path that you want to go down. Others of you could still be at that point of contemplation. Should I take this path? Should, whoa, you want this one? Yes, okay. Reverse your upright, upright. The world, yeah, there's definitely an ending of an old cycle, or it could be cycles for some of you, it could be many. But there's definitely some kind of ending here that's bringing you into a whole new beginning. This is this is incredible. Okay, more for Sagittarius, please. I'm feeling like whatever this is is going to be very something very creative. Okay. Um, it's going to be something that, whoa, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is spitting these out today. What do we have? Queen of Swords, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, not taking any crap from anybody here. <laughs> I am an intuitive reader. I know it's not in reverse, but that's what I'm getting from this. Not taking any crap from anybody. No, like, like you're willing to do. Uh, see things because you are seeing things clearly now, right? You took glasses off, which is the mean queen of swords in the upright. But I'm also feeling not taking any crap from people anymore. It's like um, Sagittarius, it's like once doing this spiritual sweep, once removing those glasses and seeing the reality for what it is and realizing your worth and moving forward into what this is that you want to create for your life. You're like, no, no more. I see how it works. I see how things are. And I am doing my journey. That's how it's going to be. I'm living my purpose. And 
it, you know, if people want to walk away, then people are going to walk away. That's fine. But I'm still going towards my purpose. I am loving this. And then you have the Three of Cups. Check it out. Celebration. Okay, so this is definitely a celebratory type energy. Also coming together with close friends, family. So apparently there are going to be several people, Sagittarius, that are still going to be there for you, encourage you, uplift you, uh, just, you know, help, be there with you at your side when you are uh, accomplishing whatever this great thing is. And for some of you, it could be multiple. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me more for Sagittarius. Hang on. Cards are... Yeah, some of you could have been feeling uh, like a stagnant type energy. Remember, I did see the bird. And the bird is symbolic for me. Um, if it is perched, um, that's telling me it hasn't quite taken off yet. Um, so it's like almost in like a stagnant energy. You were watching these people. Both of your eyes were open. So you were seeing clearly. So again, the Queen of Swords, you were seeing clearly all these people that were walking away from you that were jealous and a, a few that were seemed a little angry. This could just simply be people as well, not agreeing uh, with your um, movement forward. The Sagittarius, this is your journey. It's not theirs. Okay. So, the main focus I feel like Spirit's saying is continue on your path. What is going to make your heart sing and go for it? Okay. I love this Sagittarius. Woohoo. Okay. Spirit, please give me more for Sagittarius. What else for Sagittarius? Thank you. Any more? Okay. And you want this reverser upright? Upright? What do we have? Six of cups. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, some of you, this could be uh, some kind of project, some kind of idea, um, some kind of career that you may have dreamt about doing when you were a child. OK, um, for others of you, this could be a, a situation of something that you did in a past life because Six of Cups can mean soulmate and it can mean past life. So this could be something that you had attempted in a previous lifetime. Um, and maybe you didn't get to complete it the way you had hoped to. And now you're getting a chance to in this lifetime. OK, it's almost like something that uh, karmically you have brought in, but in a positive way. You get to repeat it now. You get to experience the completion of it as long as you take action towards it. Right. And you keep those glasses off. Right. Um now, for others of you, um, it could just be simply thinking about uh, childhood, uh, some memories, uh, things that um, you really wanted to have or do in your life. And there could have been situations here because of where the cycles are ending. You could have went in cycles with things. Um, things that maybe didn't feel good, okay? And now that you've t removed the glasses, you're seeing the truth about things uh, with the world and the Queen of Swords. Um, yeah, with the world and the Two of Swords, and it's like, it's time. I feel like it's time. Okay, give me more, please. Do you want me to continue with this deck, Spirit? No. Okay. I wasn't feeling spirit very strongly in this one. Okay. This one. Thank you. What do we have? Yeah. Five of swords. So this is like definitely taking a risk, winning at all costs here. Okay. Now it doesn't mean Sagittarius win at all costs as in like wanting to cause harm to anyone. Okay. But it's, it's a situation of, um, Making sure that, you know, not allowing other people, places, situations to come in and remove you from your purpose. Okay. Keep movement forward. And look, you see in this deck, you see all these birds. Again, you came through as a bird. This is bird's eye view. You've got many birds here. But look, here's this fox, which is representing you getting ready. To fall off this ledge, okay? The spirit's got you. Look, 
spirit put angel wings on you. Spirit's got you and is carrying you to your purpose. Okay? This is beautiful. Spirit, please give me more. What else would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, I'm so excited for you. Okay. What else do we have? Ten of Cups. Check it out. Okay. Now, for me, Ten of Cups can mean up here. Okay. Thoughts. Um, dreaming. Dreaming about it. Okay. Um, but we have to take steps to actually make it happen. Right. We have to put action towards it to really uh, step into it. Bring it into this realm. Into this reality. Right. And you'll be able to do so by doing that energetic sweep I was talking about earlier. And taking action. Now this is going to take some work, Sagittarius. Some For many of you, it's going to take some long hours, okay? But it's totally going to pay off. I totally feel that. Like I know it. It's going to pay off for you. If you are dedicated to do this. Okay, what else? Can we get at least two more, please, for Sagittarius? Oh, other. Okay. Where? Where do you want me to go? Here. Spirit is sending me to the Oracle. Thank you. Distance. Separation. Space. Blockage. Yeah. Okay. So that may be what has been making you feel stagnant. Okay. Um. It's like spirit saying, I feel like on one hand. So there's something that you have been wanting to create, but it may feel like it's far out in the distance. You may have already started on it, but you still may feel like you're you're stagnant in it. You're you're not moving along as quickly as you had hoped by this certain date or certain time. Spirit is pulling me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Crystal? Spirit's taking me to the crystal. Hang on. Here. Okay. Thank you. What do you want to show me? Ah. Spirit just showed me a bird representing you, Sagittarius, flying in the air. Your wings outstretched. I'm telling you, birds, birds, birds. Sagittarius. <laughs> Freedom. Whatever this is, okay, don't worry about the distance, okay? Spirit just showed me a bird. You flying. The distance does not matter, okay? It's going to come in. You may be thinking this, okay? But it's actually going to come in a lot faster because you're going to gain so much clarity on everything. I feel like Spirit's saying one step at a time. Just make sure one step at a time. It's one step at a time, okay? And know that it's not as far in the distance as you think, okay? Beautiful. Okay, where would you like for me to go next? Because I feel like, you know, where the blockage, there's, it's like this feeling of you, um, thinking because of the bird being perched you thinking that it's going to take a long time okay or a, a lot more work than what it's actually going to take and yes it's going to take work but there's some kind of thought process here about this okay um but again you were perched watching seeing these people as they're walking away. I feel like Spirit saying here that Sagittarius, you will begin to see almost immediately when this happens that your energetic, uh, what, what can I say here, Spirit? Your willpower to do this, to reach this heart's desire or this heart's goal whatever this is is going to actually be manifesting right before your eyes as soon as those energies 
do walk away, whether it's people, places, situations, okay? And it doesn't mean they have to walk away for good, okay? It could be a situation where you have to set boundaries for now while you are obtaining these goals, okay? Um, and, you know, making sure you start with yourself with the boundaries and then uh, also extending those to what your needs are to other people, right? That could be what causes people to walk away, not liking these new boundaries. Sometimes people just don't, they don't like the new, they don't flow well with when things change, okay? You know, it's kind of like, well, what happened to Sagittarius? You know, now Sagittarius has all these rules, you know what I'm saying, Sag? So just make sure um, to remember that no matter what happens, keep movement forward because spirit is giving you wings to fly, my friends. Okay, this is, I'm getting chills. Like this is something spiritually led for you. Okay, as long as you do your part. All right, Spirit, please give me at least one more here. Thank you. What else for Sagittarius? I love this. Whoa, that just flew out. Oh, Spirit said leave them. Okay. So we'll leave them. I love it when Spirit says that. <laughs> of course I do. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, thank you. And what do we have? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. Now, in this deck, there was an accident, which really wasn't an accident. I don't believe in accidents whatsoever, Sagittarius. So, with this card, I, I received a duplicate. And in the other card, you see how this one, it's like he's got all these scars and wounds, right? And he's naked. And the other one, so, like, he's fully dressed, and there are no, you can't see the scars, okay? So, like, in this one, what I intended this one to mean is, that this person, meaning you, Sagittarius, you have been wounded in the past, okay? You've been through a heck of a lot of challenges, all right? And um, because you were perched, that, you know, and I said it could be stagnant. Uh, sometimes we take a break on purpose because we need to rest. We need to rejuvenate and restore our body, minds, and spirit. And what did we have here, right? We need to restore that. Sometimes, um, Sagittarius, it can be a shock to our system. When we remove those glasses, um, it can literally put us in a stagnant type energy. And Sagittarius, that's okay because we need to look at our feelings. We need to recover, okay? We need to start that healing process. The thing is, we don't want to stay stuck there, okay? We never want to say, stay stuck. So we need to give ourselves time to heal, time to step forward, okay, and get to the point to where we can look back at that situation without allowing our emotions to get involved and look at it as an observer type view, you know, and say, okay, what did I learn? Um, what could I have done better? What could that person or situation have done better? And what tools can I take with me for the rest of my life? from this situation okay when you can get to that point then it's like it's time to get up and finish out this cycle the cycle is almost done now remember you had the world card okay so the world card that's just simply meaning that there is something getting ready to end a big big thing that's been going on in your life some kind of cycle Okay, and this could be a cycle of hurt, a cycle of pain of some kind. Okay, uh, some of you, it could be something traumatic, doesn't have to be that extreme. Um, but whatever this is, it's like Spirit saying, when you begin taking action towards healing, and you can look at that as an observer, at that point, you have just a little bit farther to go. You go from the nine to the ten, the ten of wands is. When you reach the end of the Ten of Wands, that's the end of a cycle, okay? So what this is saying is you recuperating, you recovering, uh, getting the strength and courage that you need to move forward to finish this out. And that's what's happening here. And when you do, this is going to be phenomenal. Okay, Spirit, give me some from this deck, please, as we begin to close this reading. For Sagittarius, please. 
Okay, thank you. More from this deck? Spirit has one. Okay. I can't make this up, Sagittarius. Do it your way. Okay. You were never meant to fit in, right? You were born to be wild and free, a free force of nature. Here to build new and better world. Allow yourself to go and do that. I cannot make this up. Sagittarius, wait, let me, let me move my finger. Look at that. See? Okay, whatever this is, Sagittarius, it's going to be phenomenal. I am so happy for you guys. I am sending you guys so much love and encouragement, success. All oh, that is beautiful, my friends. You've got this. Stay on track. You're going to be just fine.